hi it's the MLM for the soul channel and if you've never listened to my channel before then definitely check out my first video because on there I do explain what MLM for the soul is all about and what exactly I'm doing and before I begin with my new topic for today I'd like to say that may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you Hashem and also I'd like to thank some people who have helped me on my journey to get closer to Hashem and to know and live the truth. They are Rabbi Shalom Arush, Rabbi Lazar Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Shalom Arush, and also someone else that I really enjoy listening to his videos and his story, Alon Anava. He had a near-death experience as a secular Jew and it transformed his life. And I will include a link to his story, both his video of his experience and his Facebook page, and you could check out more about him. Fascinating, fascinating information and you can really learn a lot. So the topic for today is called Exercise Your Spiritual Muscle, and I alluded to this in the previous video that I did, and, um, I, and that was um, called a representative of the king. So... You know, when it comes to uh, exercise, you know, people want to stay healthy and fit and active, and that's the physical side of, of what you do because, you know, if you let yourself go, then, you know, your body doesn't feel as good. You know, maybe you can't do sometimes as much as you'd like to, but if you do some kind of movement every day, whether it's walking or um, hiking or doing some kind of activity, stretching, yoga, something that will make your body feel more alive, so to speak. And uh, that's important to do, of course. We want to make sure that we are physically taken care of. But what about our spiritual side? That's why I say exercise your spiritual muscle. So what does that mean? I mean, we don't have a physical muscle spiritually right it's a spiritual muscle so what that means is that we have to work on our spiritual side of our life it's actually more important than our physical because in the end the physical is just basically is is disintegrates so to speak it really does it goes back to the earth and there's nothing left of it and the spiritual side still goes on forever it exists it goes on for eternity. So what we need to do at each and every single day is work on that. We can't just let it go, say, okay, I don't have time today, so I won't do it. Even if just a few minutes, even you could put on a lecture, like I, you know, listen to um, Rabbi Mizrahi, divineinformation.com, and oh yes, I will have links to everyone that I mentioned before, but Rabbi Mizrahi has become my favorite because he speaks the truth, he tells it the way it is, he doesn't try to hide behind the idea that, oh yeah, everything's just perfectly fine, you're doing okay, you know, don't worry about it, you'll, you'll, you'll get Olam Haba, you'll get heaven, Hashem is, is happy with you. It's not true. Unfortunately, it's not true at all. We all have to work on ourselves all the time. Basically, we have to keep doing that. We have to keep growing and doing better because there's the both sides like that's why I say you know you exercise your physical side but your physical side is really not going to get you to the higher level that you need to in order to achieve um, what you need in the world to come because when you leave this world your muscles won't matter Hashem is not going to say oh wow look at your physique or look at your you know uh, abdominal muscles or whatever, you know, look what you've done, wow, you staying so trim and fit, but that's not where we need to have our fitness, our fitness really matters in our spiritual side, so what that means is we have to learn every day, like I say, I go online and I listen to lectures, while you're doing things, I mean, if you have a CD player, you can get the CDs, Rabbi Mizrahi has CDs on his site, you can buy for just a dollar and you just put them in your car whenever you're going around or if you have a CD player. You know, I listen, like, all the time, as much as I can. I'm um, constantly plugged in, so to speak, because I'm constantly wanting to learn. 
And even if something seems repetitious, you're still going to learn because maybe you missed something. You know, we don't always pay attention to things. You know, our mind gets distracted, you know, to different things because we get so much stimulation at the same time. So the idea is you have to keep working on it. Um, the same thing with uh, Rabbi Mizrahi stresses this too, and I, I know he's right. Amuna, having, having the complete you know, faith in Hashem, that everything he does is for the best and has a purpose, etc., is important to keep working on that on a daily basis. Like, you know, if you don't, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. But here it's more if you don't study it and learn it and practice it, you won't have it. So one of the, the best books, if I can find it right here, whoops, excuse me, that I've read and now I'm rereading is called The Garden of Amuna. And it's called A Practical Guide to Life, and it's by Rabbi Shalom Arush and translated to English by Rabbi Lazar Brody. And I'll have a link to that book below, too. And I just started rereading it, and it's just fantastic. It's just, you know, rereading it again, I'm getting a whole new perspective on what it really means to have a Muna and how we implement it in our life makes a huge difference in how we live and how just knowing that Hashem is there all the time and taking care of us and and everything that happens is supposed to happen. Every person and thing in our life is a messenger for us. So, and that's another topic. I have done um, a video on Bitachon and Amuna. But just to say that we have to always work on that. So, every day we need to learn Torah. Now, for women, it is not a requirement. But you see, because women it's not a requirement for, it seems like a lot of women want to do it. I know I do. I know I'm very interested now more than ever. Um, because there's so many interesting things to learn and there's lectures you can, you know, listen to on the phone if you don't have a computer or you don't want to do it on a computer. So there's so many options and there's so much information to learn and um, I specifically enjoy the Musa, the real understanding and the real um, basis for give, doing things the right way and really having the complete truth and not being sugar-coated. So Rabbi Mizrahi is one of the best that I know um, for doing that. He, he's not afraid to say what the Torah says because he's telling you the truth. He's not trying to tell you you'll be, you know, he, he's telling you what it says. And if you read the Torah, if you actually read it yourself, you'll see that he's not, you know, he's not making this up or trying to, you know, make you feel bad or, or you know, that it's not true because Hashem says it outright in the Torah. So he just, but a lot of people think that, you know, he's being fanatic. Anyway, but what I just want to say again is this is so important. We can't neglect the fact that because the Torah is teaching us how to live our lives. So every day we can learn something new and implement it and, and help others too to learn it. So by us exercising our spiritual muscle, then you can go out and help other people and show them what they need to do. You know, and I'm doing this on my channel, and I always say, and will say again, that everything I say is more for my benefit, more for me saying it to help myself, and hopefully other people who are listening will also have some benefit from it. So I don't just do this because I want to tell you what to do. I do this because, you know, I want to strengthen myself as well. And a lot of times when you talk, and other people are going to listen to it, and you're speaking out loud, you seem to retain that information more. So that's why what I've been doing every day is I've been reading from the book, um, uh, The Garden of Amuna, and, um, and it's really great, and I highly recommend it. And, you know, even if you just read a few pages, usually after you read a few pages, you keep going. It's like you don't want to stop because it, it keeps building. Each, each chapter builds on the next. Like, the information is really, really appropriate and relevant and timeless I would say and brings a lot of sources from different places and interesting stories and really makes sense and you could really learn a lot and implement it in your own life so you know that's important to remember that we're here to work on our spiritual self even though we're a physical being right now really the spiritual part of us is what matters the most and in the end, that's all that's going to matter. Even though, like I say, we're here in this earthly plane, eventually we'll be leaving this earthly plane and going off 
to the next world and you know that is what's really going to count for us and we'll only be able to use that for our benefit you know everything else is just like dust in the wind so to speak and literally so so that's why I I really strongly tell you this that this is so important that we need to really exercise this muscle this muscle is going to atrophy and the other issue with that is if you think about it you know when there's so much out there in the world that's distracting us physically so if you keep letting that enter into you eventually the spiritual muscle not only does it atrophy but it be begins to not even be visible anymore and no interest in it because the other side is masking over it. It's like covering it up. You can't find it anymore. It's just like, for example, when your arteries clog, the fat is masking over. It's clogging it. It's covering it up. There's no space for anything to get through where that artery was. It's supposed to, blood is supposed to flow. So the blood can't flow anymore. So similarly, you know, I, I would say like the spiritual side you know, if it gets clogged with so much physical nonsense and junk and nonsensical, non-important information, then it weakens to the point where you can't even find it anymore. And that's very sad because we're going further and further away from Hashem and more towards, you know, the material world where in the end, like I said, it, it's not going to matter. We have to remember that all this... All these things and stuff that we have are really preventing us from getting more uh, connected spiritually to Hashem because they're ba it's like they're barriers. It's like they're taking up all the space. We need to unclutter that space and we need to keep, you know, so to speak, you know, lifting weights for our spiritual muscle. But when I say lifting weights, I mean, I don't mean picking up the Torah. <laughs> That could be funny. Picking up the actual Torah and lifting it, it's not going to do anything for you. I mean, that's that's what they do in, 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 in the shul, in the synagogue. But I mean actually practicing and studying it because that's really what's important. And then that will you'll get closer and closer. You'll, you'll kind of leave out more of the material stuff. It won't matter to you anymore. You'll notice that you need less and less of that stuff because it's not what you focus on. I know for me, I don't focus on... I focus on as little materially in the world as I can, you know, I, I don't watch TV, I don't listen to radio, newspapers, magazines, books, uh, you know, uh, movies, um, you know, I don't go to all these events and things that people go to, they just don't matter, and people think, you know, oh, you're not cultured, but I think, no, I, it's not going to matter to me in the end, so what? what is it doing for me now, it's just a waste of time, so um, I just want to say that I hope that everyone will um, do more to exercise their spiritual muscle and get closer to Hashem. And in the light of all this, may we all merit to live and see the coming of the Mashiach and the rebuilding of the Beis HaMegdash. Bimher Amen, speedily in our days. Amen. And I thank you for watching.